Ag amazing day kids! Welcome to Science 6! I am Teacher Michelle and I will be your teacher for today. Take a look at this video. What are they doing? Correct! They inhale are breathing in and they exhale or breathing out. Let's do the same twice. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now, inhale and hold your breath for 5 seconds. Then, exhale. Let's begin. Based on what you did, what organs are involved in breathing? Very good! Among the organs involved in breathing are our nose and lungs. How do you feel when you hold your breath? That's right! When you are holding your breath, it feels like you are going to explode. So, why do we need to breathe? That's correct! We need to breathe in order to live, but also it provides your body with necessary oxygen and get rid of the body waste like carbon dioxide that might harm your body. Since our lesson is all about breathing, we are going to talk about respiratory system, organs, and their functions. So. What is a respiratory system? Alright! A respiratory system is the network of organs and tissues that help us breathe. It consists of the following organs. The nose, nasal cavity, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi, lungs, which compose of alveoli and diaphragm. Let's now describe the functions of the organs of the respiratory system. Nose and nasal cavity. The nose is the outer part of the respiratory system. The nose has two openings called nostrils, separated by a strong and flexible cartilage. Inside the nose is a hollow spaces called cavities. The nasal cavity are lined with mucus and hair-like structure called cilia. The hairs or cilia filter and drop dust and dirt in the air. The mucous membrane that line the nasal cavities have plenty of blood vessels. They warm and moisten the air that you breathe. Pharynx. From the nasal cavity, the clean, warm, moist air passes through the pharynx. The pharynx is a tube about 13 centimeters long found at the back of the throat. The pharynx separates into two tubes. One is the esophagus leading to the stomach and the other tube is the trachea leading to the lungs. It serves as the passageway for the air and food. The tonsils and the adenoids located on the pharynx trap and destroy the bacteria trapped in the mucous membrane. Larynx, located at the lower end of the pharynx and on the top of the trachea is a box-like structure called the larynx. It is commonly called the voice box. The voice box contains the vocal cords. The air passing over the vocal cords may cause them to vibrate. Thus, sound is produced. The greater the force of the air, the louder the sounds. Trachea or windpipe 
the trachea or windpipe is a stiff tube about 11 cm long and 2 cm in diameter that leads to the lungs. It is also lined with mucus and cilia that trap the dirt and dust and sweep them away from the lungs by coughing or sneezing. Bronchi, bronchioles, and alveoli. In the chest, the trachea branches into two tubes called the bronchi or bronchial tubes. The bronchi are short tubes that direct air into the right and left lungs. Each bronchial tube branches into smaller tubes called bronchioles. The bronchioles lead into tiny air sacs called the alveoli. Each alveolus is an air sac in the lungs where gases are exchanged. Lungs Your two lungs which make up most of the space inside the chest cavity are the major organs of the respiratory system. The right lung is divided into three parts called lobes. The smaller left lung is divided into only two lobes. Each lung is surrounded by the thin membrane called the pleura. The pleura allows the lungs to slide freely as they expand and contract when you breathe. Beneath the lungs is the diaphragm, a dome-shaped muscle that works with your lungs to allow you to breathe in and breathe out. It separates the chest cavity from the abdominal cavity. It is the main muscle for breathing. Okay, you already know the different functions of the organs involved in respiratory system. These are the nose, nasal cavity, pharynx, larynx, trachea, lungs which consist of alveoli and diaphragm. So now, why are your lungs considered as the main organ of the respiratory system? Very good, because it allows us to breathe and they bring oxygen into the different parts of the body. Children, that's all for today. See you next week for another amazing lesson. Bye!